Hello there, I'm Tom Smart Aerials, uh, and in this video I'm going to show you how to assemble a Sky Style satellite dish which we use for Sky in the UK or for FreeSat. Uh, it's a 43 centimeter mini dish, elliptical, uh, and they're very easy to set up, uh, but if, if for whatever reason you don't know what you're doing or you just want to see how it's done professionally, I'll ask you to do it. So, um, before we begin, I'm just going to go through some tools you're going to need. You're going to need a screwdriver. Uh, a Phillips screwdriver with a decent sized head on the end, a mini, a mini one you'll sort of struggle a bit, and a 10mm spanner. Um, if you're going to be putting the bracket on the wall, obviously you're going to need a drill, a 10mm drill bit and some uh, expansion bolts or something like that just to clamp it in there. Um, but we're just, I'm just showing you how to assemble a dish, so we don't need to do that today. Um, now the parts we've got are the main back reflector. This is, the, this is the bit where the signals bounce down from the satellites in, sp satellites in space. Hits this, and then because it's an offset dish, it bounces back towards the LMB, which sits about here. Uh, we've got the wall bracket itself. We've got sort of the, the you know the mounting arm, etc. Uh, and we've got an LMB just to go on the end of it. That's a quad LMB. And we've got the little packer pack pack bolts that comes with it. Uh, we've got four black screws, Phillips head screws, and just some sort of nuts and bolts and stuff just to sort of clamp it all in place uh, with a 10mm head. Uh, so let's begin. So uh, the best the place you start is by putting this in here. Actually, I'm going to show you what's got this. So when we get that, we get it like that or something like that. So depending where you're going to mount your dish. So if it's going to go, if your dish needs to go sort of point that way, for example, you're going to, need to put your arm that way so it can turn that way. Otherwise, if you do it that way, if you do it that way. You won't be able to get the turn on it because it'd be hitting the building, or you'd be mounting the wrong way for a start. And you know, in reverse, if you want to go that way, you've got to have to mount it that way. So you can get these ready on site beforehand before you go. And I, I do it a lot of the time just so we don't lose the bolts and parts, and it's just that and, you know, just, it's just efficient use of time when we when we buy these packs of sixes and twelves. So when we've got a spare moment, we just assemble them. But there's a 50-50 chance you're going to have it the wrong way. So just. Just bearing in mind when you get to a lot of jobs, you might be swapping this arm around, but it's so easy. Uh, and incidentally, there's actually another way of doing this. You can do it that way, or, or that way. So if you, if you need to fix the thing above, not very common, you can, you can mount that like that. Um, or you can mount that like that, so that can straight onto a patio mount or something, rather than have to get a separate pole. But I'll come more to that in a minute. So we've got that. Um, and well, let's do that a bit first. So we're going to open our bolts. Let's get them open. And we've got four, like I said, four screws, two, three, four bolts, and four, four nuts. And there's another one here as well, it's already in there. Uh, so we're going to feed this through. So whichever way you put, you choose to put this arm, go on to the M1, don't go on to this one, go on to that one. We don't need to take that one out and feed it through the other way. So feed it through backwards and then put the nut that side. It just makes it so much easier to tighten up. And if you ever need to flip it round the other way, you've only got to pop that nut off and the whole arm will sit round. So, um, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll get that on there. And then, so that's that like that. So I haven't got it tight in a minute, I'm just going to show you how to flip it round. Um, there. I'm going to flip it around. You just do that. And then put that in there. I'm good. Tighten. There is a little bit of movement on this, um, so you really want to be using a 10mm spanner for this, not an adjustable, because although you can use an adjustable, it's quite difficult getting the heads in there, or, or a 10mm socket's quite good if you've got one of them, but I just use a 10mm spanner to be honest, it, it does the trick, um, so you don't mess it out, you know, changing the heads in the socket, and then we want to get this one tighter. Uh, now I'm just tightening this so it's sort of perfectly straight, you want to get them quite tight so they're not move or anything. So we've got it like that, so you see it's pretty straight. If you're going onto a surface which isn't flat, so if, if you're going to a wall which is a bit, you know, wonky or something like that, so, you know, it's put up by someone on a, on a Friday afternoon or something, <laughs> when he's in the rush to get home or maybe uh, on a Saturday morning when they're hungover from the night before, um, you have actually got a bit of movement here, so you, you could sort of loosen that off and you could sort of take into account how, how out the wall is. Um, so that, just bear that in mind, it's not something we often do, but you can do that. So now we've got that, this feeds through the back bit like that. And we've got 
four holes on here which correspond to four holes on here so I'm sure you know where I'm going with this one we've got to put the screws through and tighten them up uh, so get one lined up they don't always line up perfectly so it's best not to sort of tighten any one all the way until they're all in so I'll show you what I mean by that so give, me, give it a bit of a push and another thing don't lose these screws don't lose them because there are not many places sell perfect screws that this is intended for. Uh, a lot of your hardware shops and stuff, they'll sell various amounts of screws, but I've never found one which actually sell the, the ones we want. So I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going all the way tight with these yet, I'm just getting them in so we know they're all lined up properly. One. Now if it's not lined up, you can, this one isn't lined up properly, so on the back here, you see that, I can just give it a little nudge in the right direction, just sort of straighten it out, which is what I'm doing, I'll put a bit of pressure, um, and then I'm going to put the last screw in, so now they're all in, I can tighten them up. So. And it's only a few turns and they're there. Okay, so now we have something that's looking more like a sky dish, so it's starting to get there. Um, uh, yeah, that's all in tight. So next thing we do would be to, oh, let's put the wall bracket on. Oh no, we haven't put the elevation bolt in. So where we've got this, at the minute we can put it onto our bracket and do that, but we need, a, we need to lock our elevation, we need something to lock our elevation bolt in. So on either side of this, we've got somewhere we can put a 10 mil bolt. And what you want to do when you put it in, Put it on the opposite side that the arm comes out of, because then you'll be able to get to it. If you put it here, you'll be messing about trying to, you know, with spanner. So put it on the opposite side, we only need one, and put it inside out again. So do this, like that. And, like that. Get it sort of fingerishy tight, ready for installation. Obviously you're going to go proper tight if you want to put it up on the wall. Uh, so that's where it goes. We've got a elevation bolt there. Uh, we've got the arm in, we've got the back reflector screwed on, and we're going to put our wall bracket on it. And what this does, I'm just going to just show you this wall bracket here first, because I, I often, so often go to jobs and they haven't put this on properly. Um, this arm here, you can see it's got like a little bit, and what the intention is, that, that bit goes into these little rounds, oh, I'll show you that, these little round bits here. And it just sort of pops in place. I'm trying to see, you can see it, I don't know if I'm helping or not. Like that. And it goes right in and around that round bit. You can see that there? And that's where the movement is. Um, I so often see where they've, they haven't done that properly, and you can never quite get it tight. And the way that locks in is just with the last two bolts. So, again, feed them from the inside out. Like that. Oh, I'm really unwrestling this thing, aren't I? Uh, and again, feed it on the inside out, like that. Obviously, when you come to put the dish up, you'll be undoing these two bolts and put it on the wall, but if we imagine that's on the wall already, there we go. We've got a wall bracket on our dish, which we can do that, and the elevation of that. Uh, and the last thing to put on is the LMB. And this is a just a normal sort quad LMB with the special holder. And then that. There's two little grooves here. I'm going to show you again. There's two little grooves there. And there's another thing there. Now what that does is that, what the LMB looks up, like, pops under that. And then clips in place around those two. You see that? So those two little grooves are filled by that. And the last thing you want to do is on this bit here, which comes with the LMB, take that off 
and pop it in. Not the end of the world, don't put this in. Into there. Into there. Um, like that. So we have it. One's, one sky dish, which we can use for, uh, in the UK, we can use for sky television, we can use for free sat. We can actually still use this dish for Astra One installations, because it's quite, well certainly on the, week, on the, on the, on the south of the UK, uh, we can use this for Astra One installations for sort of French TV and for German TV. If you're up north, or certainly in Scotland, you'll need a slightly bigger dish than this, you'll need a 60 centimetre, what we call a zone two dish. This is a zone one dish because our, the satellite beams are stronger on the south of the UK here. And, yeah, and so lastly, if we need to change the LMB, we don't need to get this whole holder off again. That's, that's sort of perfect for what we need it for. We can just undo this screw, which I will do now. Uh, that will open up. So if you want to put like an Optra LMB in there or something, uh, you can just put it back in. Just got to remember to set your skew the way it was, because it's quite important to get this right when you line it up. Blindsided, there you go. Like that. So, when the dish is going up, that needs to be set in the right place. But this video isn't about that, so I'll get any further into that one. Uh, so, there you go. I hope, hope you got the video. I hope it's helped you. Um, if you're unsure about how, how to assemble this sky dish, uh, I, hope, I hope it saves you money if you're doing it yourself. Uh, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do give it a like, please do give it a share if you're on social media. Uh, I'm sweating, I don't know why I'm sitting down. <laughs> I'm not working pretty hard. Um, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, I, I very much appreciate that. We can get lots more videos like this um, on, other, on other subjects with our, with our trade or with our sector. Uh, and that's it, so I'm Tom from Smart Aerials, bye for now.